to girl shades of taylor and i'm back for another video today is wednesday well not today is wednesday but this video will release on wednesday i'm actually really excited because this is my second video i'm in bare face for you guys i don't know how often like in my videos i'm gonna be bare face since i film makeup videos and then when i do challenges it's most likely after i filmed a makeup video so my face is usually beat but wednesdays is actually like health and fitness days on my channel because if you guys don't know i am in college and i am trying to work in the health professional field i'm an exercise science major so why not it's gonna be like health and all types of health related so like skincare real hair my natural hair whenever i'm finished with it um fitness videos or whatever whenever i want to do some workouts for you guys this is basically what Wednesdays are going to be for so like I'm just going to tell you how I got into fitness being on my regular schedule and what changed me and what I changed and maybe it'll help for you guys just going into it or whatever I'm not going to try to make it too long so I'm going to tell you some things so basically um at my school my RA wanted me to go to the gym and have like a meet with the fitness the head of fitness at the gym and talk to us about the programs and get a fitness assess assessment which is basically testing our body fat our strength and everything and i don't know it all intrigued me or whatever and i went back i got a fitness assessment and then she told me about her class i started taking her class um at our school which is for free and yeah she had three classes a week and i went to one i was going to i went to one for like two weeks and then I went to two and I went to all three and then eventually I liked it so much and I talked to her a lot I literally was talking to her every time I was at the gym and then I started doing research and I found different workouts that I wanted to do with weights or whatever and then she also had a program for women and weights so um women could get more comfortable in the gym and that basically helped me because the athletes at our school use our gym as well and it can be intimidating when athletes are up there lifting heavy and you don't know what you're doing or you're only in the beginning of what you're doing and basically now when i go do weights i don't pay attention to anybody like everybody is invisible to me but like the biggest thing i changed when i went was like the first thing was food like i drink water i drink water apple juice fruit punch and orange juice and that's it i don't like pop i've never really i've never liked pop so but i changed like drinking juice a lot it's so, like now basically 95 percent of the time i'm drinking water if you guys see me in my uh, when i do my makeup videos i'm drinking water i have my water bottle i literally drink that bottle and i have six and a half six and a half of those in that to gallon so i usually get to a gallon some days some days i get like like 75 percent of the gallon but most of the days i get a gallon of water i tell you i go to the bathroom like a pregnant lady but the yeah i changed my intake of water because i wasn't paying attention to my water water i feel horrible like if i only have been snacking like in college um i was eating at our kitchen a lot it's kind of harder when you, especially when you're a freshman or whatever um i ate had a meal plan and i ate at the food the calf and the calf really isn't that healthy for you so second semester when i actually started to change my um, habits or whatever i went to aldi and i just spent my own money to invest in healthy snacks i got apples i got bananas i got grapes and i used to snack on that i ate chicken a lot freshman year second semester i literally when i went to our kitchen place i got chicken and then i got frozen bags of broccoli and i ate chicken and broccoli a lot like that's literally what I lived off of. Chicken and broccoli or um, meat and broccoli with brown rice. And then I had trail mix a lot. Um, just small things, especially on a college budget. And when you're living in a dorm and don't get to cook. Now that I can cook, like my food choices are amazing. So once you get be able to cook or if you're out of school and have your own apartment, just being able to find the different healthy things that not just chicken and rice is amazing like i was tired of chicken and broccoli like, healthy eating can be so much fun like last week i had sweet potato stuffed chili no chili stuffed sweet potato i don't know how to say it but i had a sweet potato i baked the sweet potato and then i made ground turkey chili and then i put the chili in the sweet potato and it was amazing like i was so scared to try it because i'm like i don't like sweet potatoes like that but it was amazing i eat salmon a lot and i did not like salmon and then just making time like people always say they don't have time to work out i literally made sure i had 
time like that was just the biggest thing i made sure i put in at least 30 minutes a day well the classes were 50 minutes so i just made sure i had 50 minutes a day to work out and yeah i didn't have a job freshman year either but now that i have a job like literally some of my days like i have my journal and get a journal my journal like i just got a, um, a new journal this year but I always, I, when I first um, started to, I got a journal and then I didn't have one last year. But I just got a new journal that is a marble, which I'm obsessed with right now. But um, I have 6 a.m. because some days, literally, especially Thursday, like 6 a.m. is the only time I have to work out. Because I literally have class, class, work, work, practice for other things. And I have to, so I make that time because... For me, working out is a stress reliever. Working out and doing makeup is a stress reliever for me. And I feel good. Like, sometimes I'm stressed and I have things I need to do. And I just go to the gym, I work out. I come back, I shower, and I'm like, okay, have a clear head. Let me do this. And that's kind of like my mindset. My mindset changed when exercise came into my life. And, yes, I wanted to give up after six weeks, like most people. Because most people give up. So, this is the show and this research has been shown. that people give up after six weeks. And I want to give up after six weeks. But... I kept on going because I was like, this is makes me feel something like I used to I used to play sports in high school. I'm going to say that. But like we never did weights or anything like we ran a lot because I play soccer. But like I never got to do weights or anything like that. And really, I hate cardio. I hate cardio now. But right now I'm doing my cardio endurance. So I'm trying to do 15 minutes of cardio a day right now. But I hated cardio, but I never did weights or anything. So, like, once I was done with soccer, I was like, I don't need to work out ever again or whatever. But now it's, like, a lifestyle. So, yeah, those are kind of, like, my biggest three. Like, I took advantage of our free gym. Well, we pay for it in our tuition. And the programs that they have that we get to do here, um, I changed my eating habits and my drinking habits. Like, my drinking habits, but, like, my habits of drinking more water. And I made time. Like, even if you don't have time to go to a gym or anything, get some weights. Get some weights to bring home. And some stuff you can do with paper plates. Like, you can do some hamstring work with some paper plates or no weights. Just find something. They have YouTube videos to free YouTube workout things. I plan on doing some workout things for, like, my favorite things to do for legs when you don't need weights or whatever at the gym or at home. But 20 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. You want to start off walking, then running, then weights, or just building strength but make time like those are my biggest things and don't let anybody tell you negative like nothing about you working out like oh your body's fine like yes your body's fine like i'm happy in my skin but i enjoy what i do and i want to get stronger like that's my biggest thing and i'm so happy i've grown because when i first started i wanted to lose weight and get smaller but now i'm not trying to get small like you want to get bigger i like huge but i want to grow in strength like i can do 20 pound bicep curls and that's a lot for me because when i first started i barely could do five pound bicep curls so that the fact that i'm at 20 and i should be going to 25 soon is very exciting to me and the fact that i can squat 145 and i could probably squat higher is like motivation to me so making small goals and then smart goals and so making small goals and reaching them in a short amount of time and making a goal um making a time period you want to reach it and then reaching that goal and going up like it's so exciting like moving up but like those are basically my my biggest things like get a journal i i like this one it says you got this on front and it's in marble which is beautiful and then like the first page i wrote a quote which is i am not a product of my circumstances i am a product of my decisions which i feel like is so key to like my fitness journey and just life in general and then on the first page this is this week I have my workouts that I'm doing and my days that I'm doing. And then on the page behind that, I literally have my meal prep for the week. And I only um, I eat the same thing for five days. And I cook every day. I don't meal prep necessarily just because of how my schedule is. I have time to come home and eat. So, I mean, last year I meal prepped a lot and I might have to meal prep depending on what I'm eating for certain weeks. But I don't meal, have a meal prepped in a while. I do make a bunch of stuff, but then I come home and make it. But yeah, that's my meal prep for the week. And then, and the, oh, that's another thing. Don't beat yourself up when you don't go buy a certain meal plan. Ease your way into it. I don't want, don't, don't go into anything cold turkey. Ease your way into everything. Like, say you eat chips every day. Try to have chips three days a week. 
and drink more water so like ease your way into everything and then if you do have it don't beat yourself up about it like it's okay like everybody has sweet. I have a sweet addiction that I'm working on every day like me and my mom both said we're trying to probably need to start a program for people that have sweet addictions but I am obsessed with sweets but I don't beat myself up about it like when I first started because life happens and food yes food is made to give your body life and um, provide or whatever but why not enjoy it either but yeah that's another thing don't beat yourself so what I got four points um ch changing your eating habits slowly easing into them drinking more water making time not quitting making time and not quitting um don't let anybody negative say you don't need to anything it's because you want to and do it because you want to don't let anybody force you into do, do it because you want to and just stay motivated my, my thing, I'm going to leave off with this. The thing I tell myself every time I work out is whether it's easy or not, I say, this is easy. You can do this. I have said to tell myself to finish my reps. This is easy. You can do this. This is nothing. And I push myself to finish most of the time. Sometimes I don't. But most of the time, I, it motivates me to push through because a few months ago, this was not easy. This was a challenge. But I did it a few weeks ago and I made it. And now I'm stronger and I'm higher up. So it is easy and you can do it. So keep on going and then it's just going to get easier and then you're going to have a challenge and it's going to get easier. So that's how I look at everything. But I don't know if that's going to work for everybody. It was just something that came into my life and now I love it. And now it's my profession. I actually teach workout classes and everything and I hope to get personal certified this summer. But yeah, um, that's how it came to me and what my biggest changes were. I hope to see you guys in my next video. I don't know if it's going to be skincare or fitness. I don't know how I'm going to plan my Wednesdays. If you guys have suggestions, let me know. But I will see you on the next Fitness Wednesdays. Fitness and Health Wednesdays. Oh!